This video will cover the topic, translating the graph of an absolute value function, one step. When a graph is translated, each of its points is shifted the same distance in the same direction. Are we going to look at horizontal and vertical translations? We are. These translations will be similar to the translations of other graphs. Say we're given the absolute value function, y equals the absolute value of x. Horizontal translations occur when we add or subtract a constant inside the absolute value sign. To graph y equals the absolute value of x plus c, we would shift the graph of y equals the absolute value of x to the left c units. To graph y equals the absolute value of x minus c, we would shift the graph of y equals the absolute value of x to the right c units. Vertical translations occur when we add or subtract some constant outside the absolute value sign. To graph y equals the absolute value of x plus c, we shift the graph of y equals the absolute value of x up c units. To graph y equals the absolute value of x minus c, we shift the graph of y equals the absolute value of x down c units. I think I'm ready to try an example. Okay, why don't we take a look at the graph of y equals the absolute value of x. How would we translate this to get the graph of y equals the absolute value of x plus 3? Well, since the 3 is outside the absolute value sign, that makes it a vertical translation. Also, since it's plus 3, that means we translate the graph 3 units up. Great job! Now let's go back to the original graph y equals the absolute value of x. How would we translate this to get the graph of y equals the absolute value of x plus 5? The 5 is inside the absolute value sign, so this is a horizontal translation. Also, since it's plus 5, we have to translate the graph 5 units to the left. Perfect! I think I've got the hang of this. So when translating the graph of an absolute value function, we will have a horizontal translation when a constant is added or subtracted inside the absolute value sign. When the constant is added, we translate the graph to the left, and when the constant is subtracted, we translate the graph to the right. We will have a vertical translation when a constant is added or subtracted outside the absolute value sign. When the constant is added, we translate the graph upward, and when the constant is subtracted, we translate the graph downward. That all sounds great. You seem to really understand how to translate the graph of an absolute value function.